Louisville, Clemson. Yes, we assigned that game to you. I am sorry. I pers- on behalf of SBR, I personally apologize to you, Joe Gavassi, for assigning this game to you. This is a tough one. Obviously, if Clemson wanted to win by 40, they probably could. Would they be a 100% chance to win by 40 if they wanted to? No, but they'd probably more than a 50 or 55% chance to a win by 40. The question is, exactly how motivated will they be? Louisville got blasted by Wake Forest last week. We know they have a lot of issues, but they're probably going to come in here and give their absolute best punch. What do you think? The line opened at 38. It's now gotten bet up a little bit. What do you think, Joe Gavassi? Well, what goes around comes around. And I remember a couple of years ago when quarterback Jackson was playing for Petrino, Petrino at Louisville. I don't think Petrino minded rolling up some scores here. Shoes on the other fit, mm. foot now as uh, unfortunately Petrino's probably on his way out. And there are a bunch of coaches who don't mind that. One of them might be Davo Swinney. So this again, like I said last week, when I analyzed the Clemson game purely at the whim of Davo Swinney in this one. And by the, the situation way, that you've alluded to, we're going to take yes. a minute out. Great call, Joe Gavassi. Last week, Joe Gavassi analyzed the Florida State Clemson game. He gave Clemson a lot of sharps and pseudo sharps and maybe sharps that I know were thinking Florida State might be the play, including myself. No way Joe Gavassi liked Clemson. Great call, Joe Gavassi. Sorry, just wanted to give you a shout out for that. Okay, carry on. Thank, thank you. This week, I'm going to switch uh, shoes myself a little bit. I'm going to tell you, I think that Dabo may not be as hungry for this one. Of course, he went on the air last night in the top four show they pick and and was very humble about his performance as he always is and stated Alabama was miles above all the rest of the teams. Before that show came on, he was hungry to make a statement. Now that he's ensconced in that number three spot, I'm not quite so sure that he's going for the kill here this week, at least in the 40 point variety. I'm going to tell you my opinion is that being the Christian-like fellow he is and with the urge to build depth in his team, he might pull back a little bit here in the second half and allow no worse than the back door to be open. I'm going to have to side with the big points in Louisville here and what will probably be yet another contrary play after the results of last week. Yep, Joe Gavassi, I admit that on the Low Shack in the Bag show, I made this one an official pick. I did take Louisville at the line of uh, 38 when it was available. Now it's up to 38 and a half or 39. So we're going to give you uh, Louisville plus 39 minus 110. Ian Cameron, you can pass on this one if you want, of course. You have any opinion here? Yeah, it is actually an easy pass because I don't get involved in point spreads usually this magnitude. So it's tricky to trust the dog. It's tricky to trust the favorite to stay on the gas pedal for 60 minutes. So for me, a pass. All right. It's going to be a pass for Ian Cameron. Joe Gavassi taking Louisville plus 39. I did give it as an official play on Monday. I had to take 38. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos. So please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.